Uke Macabon, on the 28th of May 1998 in Lagos, develops passion for sports, especially athletics. I'm from the family of five, I'm the last child of my parents. Um, I'm from Delta State, my mom is from Ekoma, and uh, my dad is from Ukerumu. With her unique talent, Uke Maka opted to socialize in the game of basketball, among other sports, of her choice in 2011. With our exceptional basketball artistry, with IGP Queens of Abuja, GT2000 of Kaduna, and now MFM Women Basketball Club of Lagos, Uka and Maka is now the toast of peers, basketball coaches, and other stakeholders. However, consider the fact that there's life after sports and the cliche that says, What a man can do, a woman can even do better, prepared Uka and Maka to learn the arts of shoemaking. I tried to choose shoemaking, though they said um, shoemaking is a man's job, but I tried to go into it just to stand out. FM is not just sport. The youth are also advised to do what can give them extra income and what can give them a better tomorrow. Considering a height over five feet tall and her position as a shooting guard on the basketball court, Uka Maka with pride goes to a workshop located in Mushin, Lagos to join her boss and colleagues for the shoemaking business. With dexterity, she draws the designs, cuts the leather to specification of the textures of the shoes she wants to make. She said the lockdown due to COVID-19 was an added advantage to her adventure to the shoemaking industry. It's been a wonderful experience. You know when you are evolving, two things you love doing so much. Though it may look difficult to some people, but to me it's not. I combine both nicely. When we are off-season, I come to my workshop, have more time for my clients. And when we are on-season, I take excuse from my boss and go focus on basketball. So I combine both nicely. They are not disturbing me. Who is Uka Maka to her boss? Colleagues and clients. Uka is my apprentice and he's doing good since the day he joined me. He's doing good. Great. He's a disciplined person. She doesn't. And she's quite playful with some of us that are close to her. You get. So far, I've made a lot of shoes from her, which uh, I've never had any complaint from her. So she's giving me good services. Um, I want to say a very big thank you to Dali Gio and his wife also. They've been a great support to us. They've been a great support to us. Um, my greatest experience, my the most happiest moment I've had in this job is um, was when I started getting orders from outside um, Nigeria. Not one, not two countries, not three, more than six countries outside Nigeria and I'm so happy and I'm still even expecting more orders. I even have a shoe I'm working on right now that is going to, to the US. Uke Amaka's attitude to life again re-emphasizes and speaks volume of the cliche that says make A while the sun shines. To my beautiful ladies out there, I want to encourage you that um, most especially those into sport, that there is life after sport. Um, and those who are not into sport, you can engage yourself in doing something, work hard, hard work pays. It earns you more respect from people. In Lagos, Ken Dilamidi, NT Sports.